Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight. We are back for the second episode of this little playthrough, let's play, first impression, etc. and whatnot. Um, I did go ahead because everything pretty much is locked in the game unless you have a live account, so I went ahead and created a Windows Live account. Uh, I really wish I hadn't, because it was the biggest pain in the ass that there ever could be. Uh, had to create a live account, tried to log in, said, no, wait, you need an Xbox Live account. Had to convert my account to one of those. Then I had to buy the game, even though it was free. Then I had to input some sort of activation code, even though the things should have been synced up. It was just a mess, craziness. I don't know what Microsoft is doing with this whole live thing, but I'm really glad I never purchased an Xbox because of this. Uh, I gotta talk to Brian, have him kick somebody's butt over at Microsoft, but, uh, but enough of that. Uh, by having the live account, it means I've unlocked the biplane and some extra missions, so I'd like to check those out, see what I can do. Um, activities? Let's see what activities. And missions. And this guy. Okay, so yeah, let's check out this rickety old... rickety thing. I don't know, it's probably not rickety, it's probably like a brand new, just a reproduction of an old Navy trainer, but, uh... uh let's see. I guess we just select the mission and get going. You ready to fly the Steerman? Yes! Let's After all the trouble I went through to get this live account, I am ready to fly this stupid airplane. The Boeing PT-17 Stearman was used as a military trainer throughout World War II. After the war, thousands of surplus Stearmans were sold into the civilian market. Many of these were converted for use as crop dusters, a few of which are still operational around the islands. Others are in the hands of aircraft aficionados and airshow performers. I like to think that I am an aficionado. An open cockpit have made it a true classic. Let's do some wing walking. You ready to give it a go? Climb on up. What? What? <laughs> okay, apparently there is a kind of just walk around portion of this game. Uh, it's very weird. I don't know why this is entirely necessary. They could have just put me in the game, but uh, or in the plane, but whatever. Take a look around. You'll see that the panel is fairly simple. Indeed. Pilots use a checklist to help them remember oh, all the I don't steps have control of the airplane. Safely operate an aircraft. Go ahead and bring up the checklist. You can yeah. manually perform the checklist, run the checklist automatically, or skip it completely. Nuts to the checklist. Real men don't need instructions. Especially when flying aircraft. Here's the engine start checklist. Good. Brakes, apply and hold. Throttle open to one half. Mixture to full rich. Okay. Ignition on. Battery goes on. Starter on. And we have ignition. And liftoff of space shuttle discovery. No. Uh, <laughs> Throttle back to 800 RPM. I'm not doing Oil any of this, by the way. Good. Propeller control. High RPM. Alternator and radios on. Oh, good lord. Brakes released. Oh, good lord. Okay. Notice how hard it is to see over the nose when on the ground? Yep. You can look over the side to get a better view. Uh... Let's try it. Okay. Move the eye point by clicking the wheel button and dragging up. What? Move the eye point by clicking the wheel button and dragging up. Right. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to hide. Oh, I see. That's interesting. I'm like sticking out the side. Throttle up. Ooh. Ooh. Go easy on the brakes and a tail dragger. Tail can come up and flip the plane, so stay aware of that during the takeoff and landing. I don't know what the brake button is on this joystick. I should have probably set this stuff up beforehand. Where do I need to go? Oh, I'm gonna flip the thing into a tree. <laughs> Sorry. I know there's only a few... Oh, that's not the taxiway. That's like a road. Coming through. Oh, good lord. Button one to break. Is this button one? Yeah, okay, that's button one. Okay, now I know what it is on the the joystick. 
dir, Mann. Uh, I'm good at driving games, but this is driving an aeroplane, so not quite the same thing. <laughs> do, 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 do. I know there's like different brakes for different wheels as well, but uh, easy. Oh, what was that? Stop here and I'll run through the before takeoff check. Okay. G -g 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 stop, 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 stop. Need to get some new brake pads. Elevator trim set. Mixture is full rich. Prop RPM to full. Altimeter is correct. Oil pressure and engine temp good. Should I get back inside the airplane? <laughs> I'm, I feel like I'm sitting on the wing. Runway and I'll walk you through the takeoff. Taxiing onto the runway. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow, slow down. Brakes. Gig, gig. Uh, so basically, the moral ready, of this story is... You do not want to get on an aircraft and see me in the pilot seat. Although this was really smack dab in the middle here. Okay. Uh, I want to get back inside, please. G -g 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 Isn't there like a button I can push just to say... Go! Oh god. Yeah, I'm like behind the seat. This isn't right at all. Oh, that's the zoom. All right, whatever. Apply W for full throttle, okay? Okay, I was holding the brake. Rise on its own, and a little up elevator will have us flying at around Ooh. 60 knots. Ooh, it's a little bit of engine torque. And and we're off. And we're off. <laughs> to climb out at 80 miles per hour or about 70 knots. Oh, okay. Climb well. straight out to 500 feet and then do a little sightseeing. Straight out to 500 feet. Where's my feet? Okay. One, five, 500 five. feet. Okay. Level out and maintain this altitude. Which means I should throttle down Set a little bit. Throttle for cruise at 85 percent or 22 inches on the manifold pressure. I'll pull the propeller back to 1900 RPM. Thanks. I don't know any of these words that are coming out Maybe of your mouth. Trim the nose down as our speed increases. Yep. Elevator trim sets the aircraft pitch for specific airspeed. Okay. Trim down or up until the aircraft flies hands off at the desired attitude. I don't know what the button for trim is, but... Okay. Button three, I button four. I don't know what these are. Let's make our way out there to get a better look. Oh, okay. Button three, button four. Trim. Alright, so now... We're going to fire on the cruise ship. <laughs> Should I stay at 500 feet? Oh god, I'm at a thousand feet. Let's let's go down a little bit. Well, this is certainly a little bit more exciting than that dinky little uh, kit plane or whatever the heck that thing was. The uh, the seaplane that we had in the last episode by default. That's a big ship. Why don't you circle it to get a better view? That is a big ship. We whoa. Yeah, here's where the steerman really shines. It's a nice docile airplane with an open cockpit that lets you really enjoy the scenery. Let's land on the helipad. <laughs> now that we're over water. Feel free to put the plane through its paces, so you get a good feel for its flight characteristics. Such as... Fly around and get a feel for the aircraft. Flying around, getting a feel for the aircraft. Ooh. Suddenly, dramatic music for no reason. Ooh, what's my altitude? I should probably keep an eye on that. Start heading back inland to the entrance of the Wailuku River. The Wailuku River. river. That should set us up nicely for landing. Okay. Skip to waypoint. Nuts to that. I'm. F Flying a biplane! I think I did something with the view. I don't know what it was though. <laughs> oh god! Okay, this is the camera angle change view. 
If you enjoy flying the Spearman, you can fly some sightseeing jobs or fly an aerobatic routine at the local air show. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand the positioning of my head. I'm standing on the seat! Look at me! One with... Oh, God. Alright. Perhaps I should stop messing around with this and actually fly the plane. Okay, that's just the scroll wheel. It's kind of like a zoom. I wish it told you, like, on the screen. Okay, you've zoomed to 120% or something like that. Do, do, do. Is the water really this blue in Hawaii? I've never been... You always see pictures of, like, the beaches in Florida, or, you know, beaches in general that are all this crystal clear and blue, and then when you get there, they're all just muddy and sandy, and you step on something that you can't see, and it's like, <laughs> Oh, the seaweed, it touched me! <laughs> see the bridges crossing the river? Nope. We'll follow the river to the falls. Okay. I will attempt to keep my eye on the river. With flying sightseeing tours, always fly to the right or the left of the landmark so the passengers get a good view. Ah. Let's fly to the right of the river so we can circle the Don't. falls to the left when we get there. You would happen to tell me to fly, fly to the right the of the river, because I'm on the left side. Easy. Ooh. Let's not snap the wing off. Cheesy waterfall effects. Whoa! Into the trees, watch it. Why on earth would you use this plane for sightseeing? You can only have one passenger. <laughs> Circle the falls to the left, and then we'll start looking for the airport. We want to start heading back. Rainbow Falls is 80 feet tall and ends in a natural pool, surrounded by wild ginger. Wild ginger. Oh, what the hell was that? Interesting. Arrow caches. Arrow caches. Oh, what do we gotta do? Oh, I just a gotta... A visual for lighting up on runway 03 at Lokahi Park, back near the center of town. What? Turn to a heading of 130 to line up with the park. 130. Straight ahead is Lakahi Park. Use the park as a reference to line up with runway 03. Look for the track and several baseball diamonds. Gig, gig, gig. 130. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Easy. Touchy on the stick there. That is what she said. Ah. Stop doing the things at which you are doing them. Why don't you watch where you're going? A dragger is a little more difficult than in a tricycle gear aircraft. Landing hard on the main gear pushes you call the tail, tail dragger. If you're carrying too much airspeed, this results in a bounce. Or two. Or three. So make sure you're or nice eight. and slow with a nose-high attitude before touching down. This is called a three-point landing because all the wheels touch at nearly the same time. That doesn't sound complex at all. I'm looking for... what am I looking for? Baseball diamonds. Hello? Baseball diamonds. Some sort of shopping mall area. Runway zero three to your oh, left. Okay. Go ahead and start turning left to light us up for landing. You lied about these baseball diamonds, didn't you, lady? Time oh, for before dear. landing check. Mixture to rich. Prop RPM to full. Whoa. For the landing, our approach speed should be about 75 miles per hour or 65 knots. 
In other words, a lot faster than what we're going here. It can be hard to see the runway over the nose on the approach. Some pilots make S turns to keep the runway in sight. Or you can just look over the edge of the cockpit. I don't know if I like that too much, but I guess I'll try. G -g 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 oh, this is disorienting. Uh, my airplane won't slow down. Coming in hot. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Watch out for the trees, watch out for the trees! Stay on target! Stay on target! Go ahead and pull the throttle to idle. Uh, guys, I'm gonna crash, <laughs> just by the way. Uh, uh, oh, did I do it? Well, it'll take a little practice to make a good landing. Ooh, spinning out of control. Whoa, stop it with the, the, uh, the flashes, the seizures. Right, where's the next taxiway? I'm assuming it's on this side. Yep. Whoa, Christmas. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this a taxiway? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> ah. I think this is a taxiway, right? Taxi back to the hangar. Yeah, that's what these double yellow lines mean. Oh god, I'm gonna flip over. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Something different. The Isn't pilots there... will make S turns while they taxi to keep a good view out front. Oh man, that's an interesting view. Oh, I'm still in this. <laughs> Let's just <laughs> stand on the wing. Stop doing that. That's a little bit wonky. I'm not sure I like that. Come on. I'm not going to skip to the waypoint. I am going to do this legitimately. I can't tell where that diamond is. Is it further away or is it like right next to me? Way to get us a close parking spot, jeez. Where are we going? On that side of the grass? Oh. Slowing down, I'm assuming this is the entrance. Yeah, don't flip. Oh god. Ooh, is that a building? That's a building I'm about to run into. Good lord. Uh, watch the wing. Watch the, wing. watch the wing. Come on. You can do it. I want to hit the throttle and then zoo right into the. Come on. Ooh. Great. Great. Here. Stopping. I'll run through the engine shutdown checklist. Bugs in your teeth. That's appealing. Throttle idle. Prop to low RPM. Ignition goes off. As the engine quits, move the throttle to full. Why? Electrics and battery off. Great flight. Ah. I want to come back and fly some sightseeing flights. Where is this woman? Board. New best score. Bing! I'm awesome. Alright, so <laughs> that is the first mission for the 
PT-17 Stearman, the biplane. Uh, that was a little bit interesting. Uh, other things to do on the island are more challenges. Oh, crap, a whole bunch of them, actually. Um, so I guess we have that to look forward to. Uh, an arrow cache hunt is where I guess you search for different uh, hunt waypoints. Arrow caches can be difficult to find without doing a little research. Let's walk through the steps involved in starting an arrow cache hunt. No, I, I think I know what they are. Um, what else? Just flying around, I guess. And also a multiplayer, which I will leave you with a, a parting little little teaser. Uh, I have just gotten in contact with our good friend Gleason9, fellow member of the KGBs. Uh, he apparently has this game and is interested in trying out multiplayer. I'm not sure what different missions there are in multiplayer, but uh, I guess we're going to find out. If anything, we can just mess around and crash into each other. So, so look forward to that in the near future. Hopefully we'll get that working. Uh, but yeah, this has been episode two of my interesting and confusing foray into Microsoft Flight. Thanks for watching. My name is Kurt. I will see you next time.